Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna start the episode right now. <laughs> Um, hello and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a good day today. We're starting off in a wild battle versus a shiny Keldeo. Off screen, I was I was like, I'm just gonna run in the wild, see if I can find find like a shiny. I did like five encounters and I'm, this is the last one. <laughs> I didn't expect on this route, there is Kyogre and Reshram, I know. I didn't know Keldia was on this route. If you guys are excited for another episode of this series, make sure you go ahead and drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. 500 likes is the goal. Let's get 500 likes for this shiny Keldia right now. Because we, we do have a Z-Crystal. We got another token last episode. So we can catch this. But can we catch it? That's a totally, totally different question. So let's do this. Um, but to give a recap of the last episode, if you missed it, go check it out. We took on Kahuna Olivia. Just stay in. <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, go check that out. If you missed it in this episode, we're gonna be finishing up here, which this is just not supposed to be part of the episode. This is just, we got really lucky. I know the shinies are, oh my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I didn't even get to do a team recap. Yes, we have Tora Cat here. We have our boy. It's actually gonna be named Cables. I need to need to go ahead and change that. I didn't even get a chance to do that because the shiny Pokemon appeared. Um, but yeah, we have Tora Cat now, or it's going to be named Ca uh, Cables. Crunch, Thunderfang, Thunder, and Attack Order holding the King's Rock. And then of course we have Flex the Blossom, the shiny custom texture Blossom, Fire and Fairy type. Dazzling Gleam, Fiery Dance, Discharge, and Try Attack, and then the rest of the squad that we know and love. But um, let's just let's just try to get this mon weak without killing it. Um, what type is it? That's the real question. It's Flying and Fighting type. I can definitely go for a non-stab attack order and not kill it, right? See, I knew it. I knew it. Now we just can't crit it. And then hopefully we'll luck out and be able to catch this. Also, yes, I do recognize that last episode I said that we had bad luck with catching legendaries. Well, we have a Thunderous on our team. However, remember, a Pokemon evolved into Thunderous. We didn't catch it. Come on, guys. Use your noggin. Use the noggin. All right, uh, hyper potion and let's just chuck some balls after this. It actually kind of worries me that our defense is dropping like that. So as soon as we're freed from the sand tomb, I'm gonna skirt out. Um... No, that's the wrong ball. I meant to click ultra ball. Nice. Just absolutely amazing. Let's see. Should I timer ball? I don't know how many turns it's been. Let's just ultra, whatever. Whatever, or dusk. It's nighttime. This is what I should probably stick with. Cause I'm gonna, I really only record this game when it's nighttime in game. All right, please be free. What? All right, I'm not gonna speed up. I don't wanna accidentally attack it or anything like that. Hyper potion, boom. Free me. We're just forever locked in Sand Team. Okay, Ultra Ball. We have three. I don't know if we can catch this. Oh. No. Uh, look, it's so cool. Freed from Sand Team. Okay, sweet. Do I have a Pokemon? Do I have a Flying type? Don't. Okay, well, who's not gonna take damage at all from Santu? Well, I'm gonna go to Mercedes actually because he can't rock smash or triple kick me Think that's the best option here And then we just spam ultra balls and just hope and pray 
I don't even have a drink for this episode. That's how unprepared I was to start it. Let's go. Let's go. Shiny Keldeo. All right. I'll take it. We're actual shiny hunters out here. We actually are. What do I name this? What do I name it? It's like the color of Baja Blast. I want to name it Baja. You know what I mean? It's like that, that green Baja. I think that's a good name. I think it is. All right, let's check it out. Magician. What is that? The Pokemon steals the held item of a... I'm sold. <laughs> Isn't that Delphox's hidden ability? Wow. Let's send it. All right, I'm getting out of this route. Look though, this is what I mean. There was like Kyogres. There was male Combies too. Well, Combi, but I was only finding male ones. But yeah, there was like Kyogre, Reshram, stuff like that. It was... It was fire. It was fire, not gonna lie. But I did not expect to get a Keldeo because I didn't know it was on the route. All right. So we got a heal real fast, and then let's do one more quick little check out of our new shiny. I just want to see it in the PC with its sprite. Let's check it out, let's check it out, come on. To the left! Wow. That's awesome. If that, if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Drop a like, okay? 500 is the goal, help us reach it. But yeah, our team... Like, I... It's not even, we could throw it on, but I don't want to do it right now because everyone else has leveled up, obviously, and... So I think what's probably going to happen is that if we use Baja on the team, it's going to start next episode. But that's just, that's ridiculous. That is awesome. Also, should I worry about, should I worry about Litten being named, or Torek, you know, I'll just rename it real fast. It takes like two seconds. It takes like two seconds, trust me. I just need to load up the file. All right, let's see. Um, okay, okay, okay. Here we are, Tora Cat. We're naming it Cables. There we go. When I said Jumper Cables, it seems like a lot of people actually thought that, that was kind of a cool name. Um, so that's what we're gonna go with. So we just restart. And then, I think we should be set. Yeah, there we go. All right, we have Cables, the Tora Cat. So yeah, a full, complete team recap. This is what we got. Look at him. He's so friendly. So friendly. So now we've got the chance to use pretty much all of the starter Pokemon, which is awesome. Which is definitely awesome. And something that a lot of people were wondering in the comments is if we could level up, um, what's it called? Brion to Primarina just to see what we could have gotten. And yes, I agree. However, I know it doesn't really matter that the Pokemon's dead. We're gonna wait until our team is around level 36, just so like, leveling a Pokemon up to 36 doesn't feel so unholy. I know it's dead, okay? I know it's dead, but just, just bear with me. All right, we're just gonna hold off a little bit longer and then we will definitely check out Primarina. All right, but before we head into here, I wanna talk to this Pikachu. Just because I forget what it is. Master Schuster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star. You know what, I have to go get something to drink. I will be back. I'm gonna cut this out, obviously, but like, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm back. Master Schuster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu. Pikachu, shoo. Oh, can you only do something with that in like Ultra Sun? Oh well, I knew there was an event like, whatever. Maybe I'm remembering something else, but I feel like there was something like you battle the world famous Pikachu or like some girl there. Maybe that's Ultra Sun and Moon. However, here we are. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me, I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you before that I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Aether Paradise. 
let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as, the, uh, just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Cool, 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 that's awesome. Y'all look like a bunch of bugs. This dude actually, that's what he looks like. It's a, an insect. Even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. Cool. That's just awesome. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon beside you. Sweet. To be honest, I just want another encounter. So if we could like, actually, we don't even get an encounter in Aether Paradise until like post game, I think, right? And it's type null. Right? I don't know. All right. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Supra? Wait, really? Knew I could count. Oh, it's not true. Nice. He's lying. Oh, well. At least we didn't lie and say that we uh, knew what he was talking about. Because that would have been embarrassing. All right. Aether Paradise. Let's go. Chop, chop. I think this, this is just where, like, we meet Lusamine, right? Oh, this is where, like, the, the Ultra Beast comes down. Oh. Totally forgot about that. Look at me, Alf. Hey, buddy. This is where uh, Nihilego is that what it's called? Nihilego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mom comes down. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Perfect. What happens to them? <laughs> they merge into one. A, a young goose pseudo widow fusion that would be disgusting i hope no one draws that no one draw that out please young goose pseudo widow ew ew i just feel like pseudo widow merged with any mon is weird though like it kind of everything about that mod just fits and it's so niche to the pokemon like his fuck like his little smile his facial expression i don't know Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know uh, how important I am? True. Yes, branch manager, uh, branch manager, Faba. Branch manager, Dr. Professor Faba. Now I must go speak with the president about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. Okay. Let's do it. Phew. What's her name? Wick? Yeah. Welcome to Aether Paradise. Super and how? My name is Wick. Hello. That could like literally be like our mom. Wait. You know who we are? How'd you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course I heard you helped protect the Pokemon there too. Young Mr. How. Thank you so much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. All right, let's just speed through this. This, this, all this is irrelevant until we start talking to the long-haired girl. All right, and you know what I mean, the long-haired girl. All right, let's go upstairs. This is where it goes down. Actually, all right, I kind of remember this kind of being a maze. Hopefully, I can. Actually, no, it seems easy. I'm trying to figure out where to go. I think you just go north. From here, Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its twelve legs. It leaves a trail of coarse lipids scattered in its wake. That's true. Yeah, that's why the only way to encounter uh, encounter a Marini in this game is actually to find a Corsola, which is already rare enough. Getting Marini is so annoying, and then it has to SOS call a Marini, which is like a five percent chance. So, have fun with that. I did it though on my first playthrough. I was so dedicated. I really, really wanted to use the Toxapex, and it was well worth it. That Pokemon is really cool, but not only just that, it's really good. It's defensively bulky. I mean, its attacks, obviously, it's not supposed to be a special attacker at all, but if you give it Toxic and like Venoshock, um, and it has its Merciless ability, I think it's called, it's really good in game. <laughs> like, get a playthrough that mod does work does numbers in a competitive play obviously I think it gets regenerated so you want that but 
My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Come here. Ah. Yo, know, let me get that. <laughs> let me drop that bit. Let me pull the mic away. Let's get less sentimental here. Alright, girl. You must be super and how? Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but please just call me Lucimi. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. There are also these unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even profit. Jeez, I wonder who that could be. I wonder if that's foreshadowing. Even Pokemon from distant worlds far from the Alola region are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Luzamine, I don't know how you do all this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy, I'm already over 40. You are? Yeah, see, that's actually the most unbelievable part about this game. The fact that Luzamine is over 40. The right style does wonders, you know? And how your style is a bit wanting. I'll have you take out some time. I'll have to take you out some time and pick you out a smashing outfit. Like you wear? I don't think I'll be able to pull that kind of stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I don't think... Anybody else could pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. And then she's like, Lily. That's like her trigger word. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Her complete tone of voice, or not her tone of voice, her body language just changes as soon as you say the L word. Trust me, children would all be much happier if I, or uh, if they'd only listen to the adults around them. <laughs> uh, hello? Yeah, that actually like freaked me out. My mom had to <laughs> tell me something, but there was that bang in game, and then as soon as that happened, my door was like, <clears throat> so, I don't know. That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? No, it was just my mom. She had to come into my room. It's fine. All right, Wick, it's okay. She just had to tell me to put the dogs away when she, when I finished this video, to put them in the, uh... the kennels downstairs. That's a net, ooh. So it is totally possible to change it in the overworld. Look at that, yeah. Oh, but not in this cutscene. Did you come from another world? But it was black a second ago! Miss Lusamine, stand back. That thing's not right. Looks fine to me. You poor creature. Let's see if we battle. It'll probably be the... I think you just can't change the texture in this part, but you can change it in... Oh, it's a Celebi. Anyways, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Maybe it's supposed to be darker color when it's... Oh. We have to kill this. Well, luckily, we know what type it is. Totally forgot about that. It's electric and fairy. Okay. Um <laughs> Can I do anything against that? Electric and fairy. Yeah, I don't have anything that's super effective. All right, well, definitely not going on the cables though. Who can take electric and fairy moves? Probably Flex because it's fire type, so Let's try flex. Who knows? I kind of just want an excuse to use this mon. Look at it. Sparkle! Mmm. Oh! Get red. Get downloaded. Berry lock? That's fine. Dance it up. Fiery dance is so broken. Special attack boost? Oh, okay, never mind. It's not that broken. My bad. Stop going for a attract, you're throwing! Cause with that offense boost, this mod could actually be pretty scary. I just don't know if, um... I think the Celebi that we caught, its moveset was pretty whack. I don't remember it having an attack. I think it had one attacking move. So... Wow, he reflect typed me. Hey. Get out of here. Adios. Cool. 
All right, get beasted. Actually get beasted. Ultra beasted. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. All right. Bye, friend. Until later. Yeah, we don't see Ultra Beast until way later, right? Till like... We go into the upside down world to fight Lusamine, whatever it's called. That creature we just saw was undoubtedly an Ultra Beast. An unknown being from another dimension that suddenly appears from an Ultra Wormhole. It looked like it was suffering. Like it pained it to be in such a strange place. Or like it pained to be in such a strange place. I can't bear to see that happen. I will save it and I will love it. Thank you, both of you. Thanks so much. That's like when a white person sees like a stray dog. They just like need to go pick it up and like be like, Oh my god, I will save you. <laughs> the dog like still has a collar on. <laughs> like, no, he's just, he's just going to the bathroom. <laughs> It'll be all right. And of course, I'll have to start preparing the foundation for our newest and perhaps greatest duty yet. The protection of the Ultra Beasts. All right, I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. Or I'll see the, is that what she said? I'll send the two of you there. I'll see the two of you later on Ula Ula. Whatever, either way, I'm done with this con conservation laboratory, whatever it's called. Doesn't she give us Psychic now though, which is, I think. Give me Psychic. Or a TM that's at least as good as Psychic. Awesome! Thank you. Now we can just beat up everyone. <laughs> that's what that's what the move actually does. You teach it to yourself, and when you use the move, you actually call your Pokemon in and you just run over and you fight the other trainer. That's what beat up does. My heart's still kinda racing, you know. Those dudes just stand they probably work there. The dudes in the back. They're like the um the host and hostess of the... Whatever. Alright, I'm speeding this up. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like sitting here watching how talk about Malasadas. Like I don't have somewhere to be right now. Alright, but Ula Ula Island. That's exciting. Cause you wanna know what that means? More encounters. A lot more actually. All right, terra firma underfoot again. The music here slaps. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place than Melee Melee or Akala. I've got an idea, Supra. Let's have a battle. I, I don't think I can say no, so... Let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Oh, isn't that, um, Cinna? Is that her name? Or is it Dexio? I think it's Cinna. Anyhow, okay, yeah. Perfect, good boy. Good, who's a good little boy? Who's a good boy? That's the best Zygarde form, hands down. If you, this is the best boy. He's such, he's so good. Good boy, good boy. All right, um, let's see. Let's try a Thunder Fang. Is that bug? Either way, I'm swapping, jeez. Hmm. I think Steamroll is a bug type move. Maybe. So I'm going out to my fire type. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. <laughs> That's a play. It's like normal basic Pokemon typing stuff. That kind of did a lot. Oh! We are getting these abilities to pop left and right. That like never happens to me. Let's go. And the boost. Flex is actually my hero. This mod is actually a flex. High tier flex offender right here. High tier. Cables is 31 perfect. Because I just want it to evolve. Dude, it has a Brion still. No. There's a part of me that was kinda hoping, only kinda though, I was kinda hoping that this would be a, um, Primarina, but at the same time, I don't really want to fight a Primarina. I think I'm just gonna stay in. 
and try attack. I don't know how much it'll do. How close were we to Hyper Voice? Because I feel so gypped out of that. We had Echoed Voice and we were that close. It's truly unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. I'll say that right now. I think we can eat that up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Lapras is a nice median Pokemon to have. It just gives us a nice pivot because it, it just eats up everything. Just eats it up and then doesn't miss Mega Punch, thankfully. Oh, I forgot you do that. Dang it. I forgot your, your voice is so soothing. I just, I can't help it. Fall asleep. What song do you think he's saying? Leave it in the comments. What song do you think the Brion is singing? Or just saying to put Slurpee to sleep in specific? What song? Let me know. Question of the day. Yeah, because it's got to be good. It's got to be good because it hits every time. It can't be that good. What was it? Some Taylor Swift, Mariah Carey? Come on. Alright, Force Palm. I just don't want Mega Punch to miss. Until we get a better normal move, which I hope is so soon. Like, Body Slam. Ow, that just hurt my hand. Something that... Am I getting, like, Carpal Tunnel? Jeez. <laughs> I moved my hand wrong and that... Ow. Anyways. Another topic. We have a Slack Off coming out. I think that's fine. Oh! That's the first Trainer Shiny! Look at it! It's so pink! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, flex how? You know what's kind of funny? In our Sun Randomizer, the first one we ever did, um, How was the only trainer who had a shiny- Well, he was the first trainer who had a shiny as well. And it was his first rival battle. I think. Yeah. So, How's keeping it up, dude? How is a shiny hunter? I see you, man. I see you. I also decided to give Power Up Punch, um, or to buy Power Up Punch first at the uh, Kony Kony Plaza. And then on top of that, I decided to teach it at Thunderous because Power Up Punch and the Drain Punch with the big root, I just thought would be kind of OP. Wow, what typing is this? That does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. All right. Bye bye. You know, honestly, hold on. Was that a custom shiny? I don't know what Slack Off shiny looks like. I think it is pink. Uh, pink. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Never mind. I'm stupid. <laughs> I actually knew. Like, I knew that, but I don't know. I just had to double check. Why do you want us to go to a garden? Guess we'll find out. Yeah, stop asking questions. Just go. You made it uh, this far to Ula Ula Island, big boy. Please don't call me big boy. I. When your Rotom deck calls you, <laughs> Rotom decks calls you big boy. It's like, hey big boy, hey Poppy, what's up? I see you're on Ula Ula Island. Yeah, that's real nice. That's real nice. Look, excuse me, sir. See la. All right. I was kind of looking for Zygarde cores or whatever there, but none to be found. So do I want to go into that area right now? Do we want to go into the garden? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I just can't, well, let's look up when does Toracat evolve. Toracat. It evolves at 34. When does, when does Brion evolve? 34. Are they all 34? I don't know. Okay, well, on that note, hold on. Let's go back to the PC and look at our new friend Baja one more time. Actually, hold on. Before we do that, before we do that, what are they selling? Psy Strike? Heat Crash? Okay, that's a cop. For Lapras, that's a cop. That's a cop. Damn, how to blow 30 racks in literally 0.2 seconds. It's all gone. We had so much money. And now it's gone. 
Should I get rid of try attack? Probably. Yes! Lapras can learn Giga Impact. Oh my god. Is it worth it? We'll see. We will see. So the more we outweigh... Okay, so I just kind of bought that to flex a little bit. Like, I don't, I don't know if we really need Heat Crash right now, but... Let's get some Hyper Potions. Let's get some Ultra Balls. We can get like two, I think. Perfect. That's all we need. That's all we need. All right, but we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode right there. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you enjoyed looking at the uh, new shiny too. So drop a like down below. Let me know in the comments what the uh, Brion was singing. Okay, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end it off. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time when we do more stuff on Ula Ula Island. And uh, yeah, use code SUPRA, 10% off on my merch. Cool stuff like that. Peace.